Hi Gemini, welcome to your July 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. Before I get started with the reading, guys, I just want to take time to quickly say to all my subscribers, thank you so much for your love, your support, your patience and understanding. I know I've been gone for so long. I went to get married in June, and then I went on my honeymoon, which is great. But then I got COVID, and it's been eight or nine days with COVID now. I've I've been healing, I've been quarantining, I have been recovering, um, but I appreciate your patience and understanding as I get these videos out as soon as I can. So thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get this reading started. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message is going to be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Gemini, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Gemini and cross watchers that energy is fluid. This simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Gemini, let's get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and see what is happening for my Geminis in the month of July for love and romance. Gemini sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Gemini? What is going on in July? Ooh, ooh, okay, here we have forgiveness, Gemini. So Taurus had this card. So if you're dealing with the Taurus or you have Taurus in your chart, I suggest checking out the Taurus reading to see if there's messages for you there. And it says, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Wow. Okay. Gemini. Um, you know, different than Taurus is reading. And again, we'll pull more cards and see the specific energies here. But I feel like I'm dealing with someone who is heartbroken right now or tuning into someone who's a little bit heartbroken. Whether that's you or the energy surrounding you right now. And I feel that someone just has so many questions about this connection, why it failed, why this person couldn't be the person they needed me to be, or I needed them to be. Um, you know, all these, all these things that are just muddying up the clarity that someone needs right now. And I feel, Gemini, there could be a possibility of, of course, someone from your past returning this is what forgiveness, you know, is here for. But I don't know, Gemini. I feel that more so someone's dealing with a separation or a breakup that has been hard. And I feel that the first step, I know it sounds cheesy, but the first step is forgiveness. And forgiveness does not mean that you are okay with how someone treated you, that you are fine with how things ended. It just means that you're no longer willing to hold on space or hold on to space for this person's energy to take away any more that they already have from you. And Gemini, for this energy to be coming through in your love reading, I still feel this person still thinks about you, has a lot of regrets on how everything turned out between the two of you, feels bad, is haunted by the connection with you and I don't know if they're courageous enough to ever actually reach out to you and talk to you about this but I feel through their energy that they send your way I don't know they just want or hope for your forgiveness maybe they're waiting for you to reach out Gemini 
but I feel the first step in moving forward is to no longer hold on to this space. And maybe again, like very recently, someone's come up, whether they have reached out or whether it's like you've been feeling their energy extra hard lately. Um, maybe this is someone that, you know, didn't do anything special for your birthday, didn't even reach out to say happy birthday to you recently. Um, and it's really hurt you. And maybe something happened around your birthday or your season that really made this connection fall apart. But I think, Gemini, there's better for you. And that's why it had to end. Being honest here. Let's see why they're coming through for your reading here in July. What do they want to say to Gemini that they have not told Gemini? Yeah. Okay. So it says, I think about you constantly and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Um, this person's still very, very haunted by you. You know, this is giving me similar vibes to Leo's reading. So if you're dealing with the Leo, you have Leo in your chart, I suggest checking out the Leo reading to see if there's messages for you there. It's similar, but different. I feel that this person knows they need to keep their space. They know that they need to keep their distance. They know that you're not in any sort of mood right now, maybe, or this is what they think, whether it's true or not, to be open to this. But they're struggling, Gemini. They're struggling big time. And I feel that whatever they did to you, whatever, you know, how things ended, what they didn't do, haunts them. And they don't have peace right now with how things ended between the two of you. I almost feel like they made the wrong choice. So I wonder if there was, you know, a certain someone that they left you for or that they chose over you or, you know, just by not choosing to be open to trust, to surrender, to love is something that they still struggle with. Um, I'm seeing a collared shirt. I don't know if that kind of pinpoints who I'm talking about. I'm also seeing gel in someone's hair. Um, that that may be confirmation for someone too. But they haven't been doing well, Gemini, without you. And I think that You've impacted them a lot more than you may give yourself credit for. And I don't blame you if they made you feel like you weren't worth anything. But little do you know on the other side, they're hurting right now. And there's a lot of regrets and guilt surrounding what happened between the two of you. I also heard white car as well, which may provide confirmation for someone. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. Tell me about this energy here. Ace of Cups in reverse. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the water sign. Um, you could have water in your chart. I'm going to pull out all the cards first and then I'll show them to you, okay? Yeah, this is heartbreak. This is rejection. This is, you know, falling out of love. Yeah, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy now coming through. They didn't make the right choice, like I said. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so out of one, two, three, four, five, six cards one, two, three, four, major arcana, okay? So this is significant. This is a significant soul lesson here that you or both, one of you, both of you are going through. So bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. I feel like this is what they're getting from you, Gemini. Um, you know, is this very stern energy this blocked energy this cold energy and I'm kind of picking up on this energy where the last time you guys spoke you were very very I wouldn't say brutal per se but definitely cold distant disconnected um not emotionally revealing anything 
And Gemini, I feel with this King of Swords energy, they did something to kind of betray your trust. So now you're on guard. Your sword is up. And I feel that maybe when, when everything ended, like they tried to apologize. They tried to come up with an excuse. Uh, but you weren't buying it. You know, you couldn't just rely on your emotions anymore to give you answers. You couldn't just give them the benefit out of the doubt time and time again. I even feel like a specific family member, maybe a mom, um, a feminine energy, perhaps, which males could be feminine too, but they just did not like this person from the start. And they've been telling you about this person. Maybe it's like a best friend told you about this person. They were, there was something wrong about them, but you kind of just shrugged it off or were like, well, whatever, like, I'm not feeling that way, but they were, they were right. And maybe you even told that person, yeah, you were right about them. Um, but like, I feel they tried to clean up the mess they made and you just felt like they weren't being genuine. They weren't being honest or that they even have the capacity to be that way anymore. So you kind of shut down and maybe, you know, you said some things that have stuck with them in your last conversation. Like you sent that like paragraph of a message, just putting it all out there. Maybe you told them, you know, I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to see you again or something that kind of read off that vibe. And with this like King of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck, they have this like from you ending it weirdly they have this newfound respect for you I, I don't know how to explain it better than that like damn yeah you know what they caught up on it they're not taking my bs anymore I do kind of deserve this in some way and again if Gemini is doing this to you guys just flip it around right but um I even feel like for some of you, you caught them in a lie. Maybe there was, you know, flirting with other people. Maybe there was cheating involved. But I'm hearing, you know, in your way that that was the last time they were going to hurt you. So the center of this... Oh, I'm sorry, it's the Two of Cups in reverse, not the Ace of Cups, so Cancer Energy specifically. Um, yeah, they know they've lost a lot from you not being in their life anymore, from you not being around anymore. They can't just call you when they're feeling down. They can't text you to see how you're doing. It's like they have no access to you, but you've like, they feel like you've completely just emotionally disengaged and they're worried that you truly have completely fallen out of love with them but I'm hearing like they weren't the person you thought you were or they were I don't know I'm getting my words all mixed up this person maybe they like struggle to find the words to, to tell you like how they're still going about every day that is broken, that is sad. But, you know, I think they're very well aware of the bed that they made. But this two of cups in reverse, yeah, I feel that they're feeling the big repercussions of you not being around anymore, of you, I don't know, they get this energy that you just don't care. You don't care anymore. And they want, you know, I don't, they're hoping that this could be fixed. They're hoping that this could be mended. But they're also not doing anything about it to fix it. And, you know, also, too, this is not, I feel this is not the first time they've disappointed you, Gemini. This isn't the first time they hurt you. So are they really expecting that this is going to be fixed after time and time again? What's crossing this is the two of pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy. So there's two twos here. Your birthday could be June 2nd, June 12th, um, May 22nd for some of you. Maybe you've been seeing 222 quite a bit. 
Um, but with this two of pentacles in reverse, the challenge of the situation is that A, someone's not trying to do anything to fix it. Um, and again, I think they're purposely keeping their distance because they know uh, if they were to come back, it would not be well received for sure. Um, but they also made the wrong choice again. If there was some sort of choice over two people, which even with the two of cups is indicating if they did choose someone else over you, they're not happy in that relationship. They're not happy in that connection. And they compare that person constantly to you. That's just the truth of it. But anyway, with the two of pentacles in reverse, um, yeah, this person's just doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know how to fix this. Doesn't know if they even have the opportunity to do so anymore. And on your end, Gemini, what they see in this is that you're not, you know, you're not even going to be putting any more on your plate with this situation. You wiped your hands clean of it. They feel helpless in this now. They feel like they're at a loss. They feel like they're stuck. Um, with two of pentacles in reverse and two of cups in reverse, I wonder if they met someone, whoever this other person is, at um, work, a co-worker that they started to get involved with. And someone likes to burn incense in their room or candles in their room, very aromic energy. Someone's bedroom smells really good um, or, you know, just pungent of something. What's crossing this or what's crowning this is the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy. So a couple of different messages. For some of you, you're seeing finally, you know, maybe the universe is trying to pull you out of this situation, trying to expand you out of this as hard as it is you are seeing that this was a karmic connection. I'm seeing that with the devil here too, which we'll get to in a second. The good news is that now that this is done with, or now that, you know, space has been given now, there's an opportunity to advance. There's an opportunity to overcome this. And Gemini, I want to say that you're overcoming this far better than they are. I feel that, you know, you started to Focus on new things, new people, new projects. You're kind of picking yourself back up again from being at the bottom of the wheel to starting to see how you're really coming out on top. And maybe, you know, even if you did block them on social media, I feel like they made fake accounts to try to sell access to you. And if you have been posting, like, you know, pictures of yourself or you have posted some sort of accomplishment, um, or just, you know, spiritual things on your stories through your posts or whatever. Like, they really do feel like you have grown. You have expanded. So this may even have been, like, if it wasn't recently, it may have been, like, a few months ago that this ended. I'm hearing March for someone out there. Um, March may have been an important month. But since then, or since even if it was recently, like, it looks like you're doing far better and you're moving on far quicker. Even if there are times when you struggle with this, even if there are times when you still think about this and you're heartbroken over it. I do feel this is the universe's way of saying Gemini as hard as it is now. This had to happen. So you didn't stay in a connection or in a relationship that was just going to stifle you. That wasn't meant for you. That was just going to continue to bring you down, continue to have you be at the bottom of the wheel. But now you're actually at an advantage to break free, to move on. And I think Gemini too, there are some people who are interested in you and who have their eye on you. And I think that as you do your healing, take the time you need with whatever pace you need to go at. But you're going to start to see some people who are interested in you who are going to start to flirt with you, who are trying to make their way into your life. 
And if you have moved on and you have been posting, you know, the people you've been hanging out with, maybe even certain dates that you've been on or just, you know, getting your mind off of it by distracting yourself, by, you know, going for other opportunities, that's playing in your favor, Gemini. Because you were able to pick yourself back up again while this person is still stuck. This is definitely the vibes of, like, the tables have turned here. What's rooting this is the Tower card. So Aries energy, Scorpio energy, Mars energy. You know, Gemini, um, I feel like what they did to you, whatever betrayal, whatever games, whatever pain they put you through, it's happening to them right now with someone else, with whoever they may have moved on to, or, you know, just because they don't have access into to you anymore, you broke this off, they've been trying to date other people, and they've been attracting people of their own vibration, liars or cheaters, or, you know, people who aren't out for their best interests. Um, now, again, too, like, this is just indicating to me the reason why this ended was through a shocking event. You know, finding out something was a lie, third party situations, um, that it feels more like that than anything else. But I, Gemini, I think they want your forgiveness right now because they, through what they're experiencing now in love and romance, they're seeing what they really did do to you and it took for them to experience that in order for them to really understand someone could actually be balding too or be bald straight up um i kind of want to clarify this tower card here the high priestess the secrets and I think, again, there was divine intervention that, you know, spirit saw that you were in this connection for too long. Spirit didn't want you to be in this connection for much longer. And spirit had a hand at showing you the truth, at, you know, getting, giving you that gut feeling that something was off. Maybe you had to go through someone's phone. Maybe you had to go through their social media or you, you know, just had to ask them that question that they stuttered on and finally confessed to. Something that spirit spent, sent your way to, for you to be suspicious about and your suspicions were confirmed. Um, maybe even like a terror reader kind of confirmed this for you before it happened or a friend that was super intuitive. Um, again, I kind of felt that energy with the King of Swords over there. But for someone, a secret came out for sure. And then King of Wands. So Leo energy coming through here. Um, I feel with the King of Wands, yeah, it was someone who thought they could get away with it. It was someone who thought they were confident enough, sure enough that they could have their cake and eat it too. Um, a little self-centered. And it, it bit them in the ass though. Gotta be honest here. Uh, but if this King of Wands is you, Gemini, regardless if you have fire in your chart or not, you are getting the opportunity to empower yourself by taking your power back, by moving on, by moving forward, looking towards new projects, looking towards new people. Um, you're really the one that, and maybe it doesn't feel that way right now, and maybe you guys are just still on that journey of taking and claiming your power back from the situation. But I feel that your story or what you've been through is going to provide inspiration to yourself and maybe even inspiration to others. And I think that you're just discovering who you really are aside from this connection inside. Even if you stuck out through this for a very long time, much longer than you would have with anyone else, there is a lesson here. And you've grown because of that lesson. You've expanded because of that lesson. And for better 
I promise this affected you by making you stronger and wiser. And you're not going to be fooled again. Your energy in this or how they see you in this is the devil card, Capricorn energy. Now, don't get offended. I believe Sagittarius had this in their exact spread. So Sagittarius may mean something to you guys, whether you have it in your chart or you're dealing with the Sagittarius. But um, this is, again, not that you're the devil, but this is like what they feel still so binded towards you. The karma around the situation that happened with you. And for some of you in their own inability or denial to actually see the whole situation for what it is, they may even at times when they're angry, when they're at their lowest, like still kind of put their anger towards you or blame towards you, but it's not you. And, you know, I wonder if, weirdly, I don't know, they, like, in the beginning when this ended, a part of it, why it hurt you so much is that they told people lies about you, told people lies about how it ended, what the situation really was, that you had to find out through word of mouth that, you know, you had to say, no, that wasn't true, that's not what happened, let me tell you what happened. And they tried to make you out to be the devil in the situation, right? That's just confirming it for some of you. But for most of you, I got to say, yeah, this is where they're haunted. This is, you know, the when they think of you in the situation that happened between the two of you, they feel a lot of shame. They feel a lot of guilt. They feel a lot of wounds around this. And I think they're anchoring that energy into you. And that's why they're even coming out in this reading for you, Gemini. But with this devil card, they're also finding it like hard to let you go, hard to move on from you. There's still this temptation, this desire for you. It's interesting when you want what you can't have. That's what this is kind of telling me here. And they know they can't have you, Gemini, but that's making them want you even more. But they know that this is toxic or that the connection between the two of you is toxic. But you're definitely amazing in bed and they think about that too. Um, but yeah, it, it just keeps coming back to this. I think about you constantly and I don't know what to do scenario with this devil card. How they are in this situation, how you may see them as the hermit card. Um, yeah, you want your space from them. They see that. They're keeping their space. I think they're, again, this is with the hermit. It's through a time of, I, I usually feel with the hermit card, You people usually go in hermit mode, hermit mode after like a failure, after, you know, a tough time. And they see that, you know, you're not engaging. They see that you're not reaching out. They see that you're keeping your distance. But also, again, if they have access to you in some way, whether it's social media, through family members or friends, like, they see that you're moving on. And that's what's hurting them the most. Because they can't do that. They can't move on from this. They can't move on from you and they're stuck. But maybe Spirit's trying to, you know, encourage them to do the work then. Do whatever work they need to do to heal, to, you know, let you go, to free themselves from this from you. Because I think this has run its course and all that could happen has happened. And whoever's still holding on to the pain of this or the anger of this or the guilt and the shame from this holding on to it and not working through it, not releasing it. That's what's going to keep someone trapped forever. And I think, Gemini, that, I don't know, maybe you're also going to see or hear very soon that this person's relationship, for those of you that resonated with that, you know, they decided to go with someone else, be with someone else, they're going to be single quite soon. And in some way you're going to be like, I told you so. Um, or, you know, just not have any 
um, resentment or tit for tat or vengeance over it, but you know, kind of see that you saw that all along. This person isn't someone that, from what you've learned, stays in relationships for too long or has the ability to be consistent and honest and devoted, just what anyone needs in a partnership. But yeah, they're, they're suffering a little bit right now, Gemini, to be 100% honest here. And the one thing that's on their mind constantly is you. All right, Gemini. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold in this connection, what do you need to know about your love life? Is there anything else you need to know about this situation to give you better understanding and clarity on why this person is so connected to you or why they keep showing up in some way? If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome and anything else you need to know about your love life. I'm also going to pull oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this situation, deeper into you know what you need to know so you can heal and make the best choice with whatever happens. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope that this is giving you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever you're going through in your love life. And if this resonated with you, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.